Hello, my name is Frank Seckenheim and you're watching Astro Photo Cologne. Just a couple of weeks ago, I presented on this channel a beta version of our gradient removal software, Gregspert. Now we do have the official version, the final version of Gregspert, and I will show you how to download. I promise it's much easier than before. And also, a nice guy wrote a little script for the software, PixInsight, and I will show you how to install the script in PixInsight and use Gregspert directly out of PixInsight. Have fun! The official 2.0 version of Gregspert is now available from our homepage www.gregspert.com. And also a little script uh, showed up to install Gregspert or to use Gregspert, I should better say, out of Pix Inside directly, and I will show you how that works in this video. For both of you, those people who want to use Gregspert as a standalone program, and also for the people who want to use Gregspert out of Pix Inside, you have to install the latest version of Gregspert from our homepage. So remove all older versions uh, that you have on your computer, on your hard drive, and install the new version. In this video, first I show you how to install and download the newest version of Gregspert for Windows and Mac, because there are frequently asked questions about uh, how to use it on Mac computers. And after that, I will uh, show you how to install the script in PixInsight, and yeah. Let's go to the computer and see how it works. You can now get the latest Gregspert version with the AI function from our homepage www.gregspert.com. You no longer need to download the AI model separately as in the beta version. You simply select your operating system and download the appropriate version. In my case, this is Windows. If you have a Mac computer, there is a version for older Macs with Intel processors and a version for the M1, M2 or M3 processors, also known as silicon processors. I will now download the Windows version. There is no installation procedure, so all you have to do is click on the Gregspert icon in your download folder and the software should start. You can of course also move the program to another folder. It is possible or even very likely that you will receive such a message. Sorry that it is now displayed in German. The reason is that we have not always officially registered Gregspert with Windows, so the operating system is skeptical. You will then have to select more information and click on run anyway. It is also possible or very likely that your antivirus software is working, which is in 99% certain to be a false positive. In other words, a false alarm. We have done everything to ensure that the program is scanned for viruses on the developer platform already and our homepage is also protected against viruses. Of course, there is never 100% safety, but in all cases so far, it has been a false alarm. Because our software is simply not known to these antivirus programs. Here I would like to show you now the installation for Macintosh computers. After you have downloaded the appropriate version for your operating system, you can double click on it. Typically for Mac, a window like this will open and here you have to drag the so-called DMG file into this applications folder. Now Gregspert is in your applications folder, which is very important. Now you can run Gregspert for the first time. I strongly advise you to do this via the launchpad and not, as I show it here, by double-clicking in the Applications folder. However, it still worked well for me. So double-click on Gregspert and now the following message will most likely appear. This message is a security warning as the operating system is also skeptical here because it is unknown software. To be able to run Gregspert anyway, you must open the system settings. Open the system settings in the top left hand corner of your Mac and scroll down to the security settings. Under security, scroll down again, though this is very hidden, and there you will find the security message for Gregspert. This says that opening the program has been prevented because the developer is unknown. Now click on Open Anyway. You then have to confirm this by identifying yourself on your computer, and from now on Gregspert should start normally. 
Now Grexpert is open and the very first time it can take a few seconds or even a minute, so be patient. First of all, you have to load an image now. The first thing I do is I choose an appropriate stretch factor. Here's another note because it's so often done wrong. It is very important that you first remove stacking edges from the images by cropping the images appropriately. This is important with conventional methods for gradient removal and even more important with the AI method. If you don't do this, the AI will give you a very bad result. That's why we built in a crop tool and it's very easy to use as you can see here. Please be sure to follow this advice. Now you scroll down to the gradient method. The AI function is the basic setting here, so just click on it. A message now appears stating that the AI is not yet installed and that Grexpert would like to download it. Of course you have to confirm this message. This step makes installing the AI easier and it is a great simplification compared to our beta version. A progress bar will now appear showing that the AI is being loaded and then it will be started. You must have done this step once before you can use Grexpert in PixInsight. A progress bar now also appears when executing, helpful for people who are unsure whether anything is happening. Here's now the result. I won't go into the functions of Grexpert in more detail here, as there are already many videos on my channel about how to use Grexpert. Here I will show you how you can install and run Grexpert in PixInsight. To do this, you need to install a script collection, the so-called Toolbox. First you choose the Resources button, then you go to Updates and Manage Repositories. Here you can now see all the links that are required to update PixInsight and you now have to insert a special link that will load the toolbox into your scripts with the next update. In my case you can see this special link here which is responsible for the toolbox and therefore Grexpert. You can see that I have already added this link but you still have to do this. To do this, please select the Add tab. Enter your link in the window that opens. I will provide the link under the video. You can simply copy it and enter it here. It is important, this link is not a link that leads to a homepage in your internet browser. We get a lot of messages saying that the link doesn't lead anywhere. This link only works as a link within this PixInsight file management structure. I don't have to enter it here anymore, but please enter the link in this empty field. Confirm with OK and confirm the entire window again with OK. Now you can also run the update under resources by selecting the check for updates tab. Now you can confirm that you want to carry out the update, you will then be asked to close PixInsight and restart it. And you have to confirm something a few more times, but then you've done it. When PixInsight opens again, you go to Scripts, there you will find the toolbox further down and within the toolbox you will find Grexpert finally. I now open one of my images in PixInsight. Next I open the screen transfer function so we can see something. And as you can see, this image still has stacking edges and as I said, it is extremely important to remove them. So I open the crop tool and crop the image generously. I would like to mention something else because it is often done incorrectly. Grexpert can be used immediately after stacking or I should say it should be used immediately after stacking. So you should not have carried out 
any image editing on the image yet, except for the cropping, of course. This also means that in my case here, no color calibration has taken place. So I deselect the chain symbol in the screen transfer function. This is called then an unlinked stretch. Now we are finally using Grexpert for the first time. However, you still have to do something. If you open the Grexpert script for the first time, please click once on the tool symbol. You now have to navigate to where the Grexpert software is located, in my case to the download folder. This path must be confirmed once before you can start Grexpert. There are only two setting options in this script. You can choose between subtraction and division. The default setting, however, is subtraction. You can also adjust the smoothing factor, so I advise you to leave it at zero initially. You can't drag this blue triangle onto the image like you can with processes in PixInsight. You just click on the green tick to trigger Grexpert. The blue triangle, however, on the other hand, is used to drag the Grexpert process onto the desktop. There, the script can be used with a process container, for example, or you can use the script in an image container. This might be useful if you have taken photos of the same object with multiple filters. This could also provide an opportunity for batch processing for Comet photographers, for example. One last thing, the script automatically runs an unlinked stretch when it's finished, so there's no need to run the SDF again. You may have also seen that the Grexpert window opens, but this only happens under the Windows operating system and cannot be turned off. Okay, that's it for now. I wish you a lot of success and fun with the new Grexpert version and the PixInsight script. So I hope this video was informative for you and uh, yeah, I hope you have fun with Grexpert with the new AI functionality and I can tell you the team, the Grexpert team is working on even new functionality. So stay tuned and hopefully see you soon. Bye bye.